Hello, my name is Lars Öbrum. I will tell you more about the design of this ball contraption elevator in this video. A good example of 3D printed parts going together with the totem components. The design is in three sections. The first one can be called a step lifter and uh, I made it uh, with uh, a combination of uh, strip brackets, boards and uh, 3D printed parts. The uh, charcoal colored parts is the, is the 3D printed. Just uh, uh, connecting uh, strip brackets together and into the 3D printed connection part you can make some kind of cradle its purpose is to lift the ball almost from ground level and up. And uh, because we want to have as high lift uh, elev elevation as possible. Here you can see the gears that are uh, um, lifting these cradles. Also 3D printed uh, parts. Uh, here I show a little bit of how this is assembled. First I fix a bearing into a, a bracket that goes into the totem beams. Then these gears are fixed into the bearing. This gives a very smooth and low friction uh, operation. Uh, and it can withstand quite many hours so, or days of operation. Then tighten the, the bolt so that the bearing and the gear is well connected together. The middle section is just a path for the ball to roll into the caterpillar lifter. Um, which lifts the ball to the highest point. Here you can see also some guides that guides the belt into the big gears. Also 3D printed. Uh, the 3D printed big gears uh, shown with different uh, colors just because of contrast um, is built with a combination of totem components and 3D printed parts. When you use this combination, you can print quite small 3D printed parts and combine it with totem parts to have a bigger, stronger unit. I'm using 6mm bolts, the standard totem bolts, for fixing the 3D printed parts to the totem parts self-threading into the plastic simply here i'm using two strip brackets use it as an axle when later uh, connecting the motor i wanted to use ball bearings for these large belt gears because of uh, having a, a good noiseless long-term operation also, this time I'm fixing the ball bearings into a bracket uh, with two bolts. Um, uh, also 3D printed part. Uh, I have a coupler disc that has a center into the bearing and the other part that holds them together. Very smooth silent operation. Now also at last there's a motor coupler. When the ball reaches the top of the elevator it needs to be ejected from the scoop. Uh, I used simply a strip bracket which I bent um, and it functions very well as an ejector on the top of the elevator. Here's a section of the caterpillar belt. The blue 
parts are 3D printed. And here I show how the scoop, the ball scoop, is attached to the belt itself. To build the scoop, I use strip brackets to attach into the 3D printed part. And just using 6mm bolt again. The finished scoop will then be attached to the belt itself. I find the right place to put it. I will put the back end into the beam of one of the sections in uh, the caterpillar belt. I'm again using a 6mm bolt, um, screwing it into the scoop. I'm using uh, two bolts in this case. And uh, very quickly, you have attached the scoop in to the belt. The belt guides I mentioned earlier uh, is attached a little bit differently into the totem beam. I want it to be adjustable so it has a oblong hole um, that enables it to be adjusted to the exact position against the belt. I'm using the totem nuts into the beam to receive this 8 mm uh, bolt. And also, um, I want to show that if you want rather intricate special shapes in some of the parts, it's so easy to just shape the strip bracket and bend it to a desired uh, shape. In this case, it's for the ejector part on the top of the, the uh, uh, belt. And here I show you how you, using a plier, can bend the tip of uh, the strip bracket.